Stefano Gramito Ricci has worked on over 130 films worldwide. He has won Best Sound 17 times from multiple film festivals. He is also a professor at the National Film School in Venezuela. Basically, uh, when I'm recording a movie, I try to be very stable with the, the microphone. I don't like to change uh, microphones because there is no transparent microphones. Each microphone gets its own, its own sound. With using the close mic technique, you just cut it out the voice from the background and uh, it, they sound always that they are nowhere. Uh, with the faraway microphone technique, there is a special point where you find that you can put the microphone there and uh, raise the level and you still be near the subject. When you get involved with sound, you start understanding that there are the sound it performs in the uh, space and in the, in the physics, like uh, all the other elements, like the light, like the water, like the air, they have some kind of behavior, a special behavior. So if you are in, in some particular soundscape, uh, every time you reach this soundscape, it will be different. But the elements that you will be found, find in this soundscape, it will be always the same the wind singing in the leaves of the uh, of the trees uh, it will change from winter to summer and to uh, fall because the little things that are moving that are the leaves and uh, in the summer there will be green in the, in uh, in autumn it will be uh, dried so it will be more brilliant but there is no noise there is not uh, words on good things there are all the, all the sound are interesting Carlos Miranda is a professor at TCC who specializes in audio and video production. He is also an independent filmmaker and scorer. Post-production is probably the most important um, aspect to finishing a movie. Um, a lot of people, and there's a misconception on, on, the, on the field, a lot of people believe that everything can be fixed in post-production, and which is a mistake, actually. Uh, a, f a very good film, no matter if it's independent films, Hollywood film, it requires a very thoughtful process on Wet. audio recording. Um, like audio uh, is, is the very intricate part to make or break a film. Well, post-production, you definitely have to have a multi-track recorder program. Um, you also have to have an array of uh, plugins or effects that allows you to conceive those particular styles and sounds and, and formats and spa sp spatial separations of tracks. You have to have a good series of compressors to be able to compress the sounds and make sure that nothing leaks to frequencies that are not desired on the film. The music makes the mood for the scenes. The music makes the, the, the mood for the whole entire film. And um, it it's requires a knowledge of music. Definitely requires to have ability to compose. Definitely have to have ability to perform. Um, and at the same time, have a very good, solid music theory background. The ability of a composer to be able to come up with something that is um, as, as close enough as the imagery that you will see on the particular film. Richard Portman has been involved in the film industry since 1957. He has worked on over 100 feature films which include Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, The Godfather, Harold and Maude, Young Frankenstein, Star Wars, Splash, and Deer Hunter, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Sound in 1978. Mr. Portman is now a devoted resident teacher of sound design at Florida State University. My father was one of the founders of the motion picture sound industry from the started when sound came in. So I started in, uh, in 1957. Uh, breaking in at Columbia Pictures. I worked alone for myself. I was the only mixer for a long time in Hollywood that did the entire re-recording process by himself. That is to say, normally the film crew would be three mixers on the thing, a dialogue mixer, a music mixer, and a sound effects mixer. I've worked both ways. Sound recording is a photograph, so the, what you want to do is always to have the best light that you can get on the subject, and the actor's voice is our only light. My phone rings. It is a work call for a temporary mix. At work, I find the film is on 13 reels and scheduled for one day. 
This means we must average well over a reel an hour on a film we have never seen working with complete strangers. Being a machine was something I never got used to. I didn't understand how I could look like a human being but be a machine. To please the top dogs most of the time I would really try to be a machine but my heart wasn't in it. One another reason why I came to do some teaching, I can teach you how to make a movie. You don't have to go to Hollywood. You two or three of you folks can get together and get a little bit of money together and shoot the negative and finish the whole thing yourself. Maybe spend a hundred thousand dollars if you get on it. You know, sell automobiles for a hundred thousand dollars for Christ's sakes. Get a hundred thousand dollars together and make yourself something and, and have a story behind it and sell it for uh, for a million dollars. Well, you and your three pals got a million dollars out of a hundred thousand, that's pretty good business. And you keep doing that, and you, so the, the homegrown or the independent filmmaker is the way to go now. And that's, that's, and that's another emphasis we're teaching.